Hey, booze. Hey. It is your girl, the Rising Phoenix Empath, coming at you from Maryland, and I wanted to jump on real quick. And I really wanted to encourage you guys today. And yes, I do have a new look wearing my natural hair. Took my braids out. And um, I actually lost a lot of hair. It scared me, guys. Um, but I wanted to jump on real quick. Show you guys my natural hair because it's going to go back in braids and back in a wig. It is. It's just really easier. Um, and it's very time consuming to do. And it's just not going to look like this tomorrow or even in an hour when it dries all the way. It's just not going to look like this. So I wanted to jump on so y'all can get the raw and un uncut me. <laughs> okay. Um, but I wanted to jump on real quick and I wanted to, um, have a really serious discussion with you guys. Um, I know that chosen ones, we have gone through a lot, right? We've gone through a lot of trauma, a lot of betrayals, a lot of relationships, and a lot of just a lot of things that would weigh down the spirit. And I, I wanted to appeal to you guys as the chosen that, you know, we're chosen, but we're still human. And we can still break like anybody else. And so I wanted to jump on and I wanted to encourage you. I wanted to tell you to keep pressing. I wanted to tell you that I see you. I wanted to tell you that I'm reading your comments and that I'm praying for you guys. I'm sending positive and good energy to you guys. I think about you guys all the time and I love you guys. And I wanted to jump on and I wanted to challenge you guys today because some of the comments that I see is very discouraging. Some of your stories is heartbreaking, you know, very traumatizing, very devastating. Some of us, some of you are out of contact with your parents and I can't relate to that. My parents are, are deceased, but you know, I just can't relate to that. Um, but I know that that's the reality of some situations. Some people are out of contact with their siblings, with their families, with the family members, with friends. And um, it's just an unfortunate situation. I know every situation's different. I'm not here to judge at all. Everybody has to do what's best for them. Everybody has to make their their space a safe place for them and for their families. And there's no judgment here. But I really wanted to jump on. And I really wanted to say that in lieu of all the comments that I read, in lieu of everything that I know that we have gone through, um, in the, in, you know, over a period of a lifetime. This is this is this isn't a one-time traumatic event. This is relational traumas accumulated over a lifetime. A lifetime, right? And so I just wanted to jump on and say it's going to be okay. I wanted to jump on and I wanted to tell you to keep trucking, to keep praying, to keep being you, to keep doing you. God created you an empath. That doesn't mean we have to be stupid. The S in saved don't stand for stupid or sucker because we're none of those. Okay. I also wanted to say that I want to challenge you, you know, reading those comments, you know, there's no way you can go through life and experience the amount of betrayals and the devastation um, and the hurt and the pain and the heartbreak that you've experienced and not deal with it and that it not affect you and that it not uh, alter how you show up in the world, how you deal with people. And as chosen ones, we have a mission. We have a mission. We are the salt of the earth. We are to love. And so I wanted to challenge you guys today. And I wanted to say, because we're human beings like everybody else, what are you doing to heal? Because just watching YouTube videos ain't going to do it. Right? And sometimes, I mean, God can do all things. But the thing with God is he calls us to participate in our healing. He will not always heal us supernaturally. So praying to God and worshiping God and getting on YouTube and resonating with videos is not going to do it. You're going to have to take a step. 
You're going to have to take a step in your own healing, whether that be talk therapy, whether that be therapy with a counselor. Some of you have uh, may have diagnosis. I don't know. I'm not here to judge, but I'm challenging you today to deal with your stuff. Watch what you put in your eyes and in your ears and in your mouth because it all affects, it all affects how you feel. It all affects how you show up in the world. And I wanted to challenge you, mind, body, and spirit to deal with those things holistically so that we can heal and show up our optimal selves in the world to do what God put us here to do. So that when opportunities do come to us, when relationships do come to us, when the things that God has called us to, when those things come to us, we will be ready. We may have been whole before the last betrayal, right? We, we might have been good, but we're not now. And we need to take a collective action. And I'm asking you, I'm challenging you today don't just look at YouTube videos. Pray. But also, I want you to take accountability for your own healing. Look into your employer. Your employer may have something called Employee Assistance Program, EAP, where, and in some cases, not all, but in some cases that EAP will pay for the first 10, uh, 10 sessions you have with um, a psychologist, therapy. Some of you have experienced CPTSD due to relationships and you're fearful and you're afraid of letting anybody get close. I get it. We're lone rangers and we're even called to isolate for a season, but not for a lifetime. Get yourself prepared and get yourself ready because leaders have to lead and you cannot lead with the attitude that you're not going to let anybody close to you, near to you. So I'm calling you chosen ones. This is a call to the chosen ones to continue to be where God has called you to be during this time. And that very well may be isolation. And I believe I am called to isolation at this time while I am healing and while I'm seeing everything and everyone for who and what they are. And I'm healing, but I'm also taking accountability for my own well-being, my own mental health, my own physical health. And I'm doing what needs to be done so that I can show up optimally in the world so that I continue to be the salt of the earth so that these things that I have gone through with lower vibrational people, with people who are unhealed, with broken people who break people with envious people, with jealous people who are just broken people who broke us. I am taking accountability for myself and I am doing what I need to do to heal. Because we are to prepare. We not, not might not get married next month or even this year, but it's coming. I am a wife that I know. That I know. And so are a lot of you. Get yourselves prepared to be all he's called you to be, whether it be a husband, whether it be a wife, whether it be a leader, whether it be a founder of an LLC or a founder of a movement or all of the above, an author, whatever it is, an author, a motivational speaker, whatever it is, I'm challenging you to prepare yourselves and ready yourselves for your moment. We must be whole. And it's not going to happen by looking at YouTube videos. We're helping you. We're helping each other collectively, but you must take accountability for your healing and you must move. <clears throat> In the description section will be a listing of mental health resources uh, that will get you connected to therapy. Okay, and also other YouTube channels that deal with narcissism. This thing hit us hard, but we are fighting back and we refuse to allow this thing to take us out. I'm challenging you today, chosen ones. It's time to heal. I love you guys. Until next time.